Good evening and welcome to this another edition of the Republican debates on the Republican television with Republican panelists. They are already here in place with me. They are Prince Pierre Ejedet, whom I say, good evening, Prince, and welcome. Good evening to you, Mr. Tabby Clarkson. Good evening to the millions of televiewers of Camdis Television. Good evening to the other panelists. Mm. Um, a special good evening to the national president of the Popular Action Party, mm. uh, His Excellency Jean Denis Tabe. Mm. Um, it's always a pleasure to, to, to be on the Republican debate. And uh, thank you very much for um, inviting me. It's a pleasure. It's always a pleasure to have you on uh, the panel, Prince APA Jede, who doubles as uh, the national communication secretary of the PAP party, the Popular Action, the popular action uh, Party. And the Mark spokesman, and precisely. The spokesman mm -hmm. of the party, the equally. Party. He is a teacher, a principal, equally. And you will understand in the course of uh, the program. He is a chief, a chief, our chief, <laughs> not a chief of our wing. They call him NS Akufo. NS, we say good evening and welcome. <laughs> Tabi Clarkson, good evening. <laughs> good evening, Tabi Clarkson. Good evening, televiewers. Uh, it's always been a pleasure being on uh, the panel of uh, Camdis Television mm. to talk Republican issues. And uh, I just but hope that by the end of this uh, program, we must have educated and uh, conscientized the population on the burning issues of the Republic. I want to say uh, good evening to my co panelists. Mm. She is a journalist. She is uh, with us equally tonight. They call her Gislena for Gislena. We say good evening and welcome, man. Thank you very much, Dr. Tabi Clarkson. And mm -hmm. good evening to all the televiewers of Kamzi Television. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad to be here once more. How are Kamsi. you tonight? Well, we thank God I'm doing good. I'm doing okay. Mm -hmm. Today we shall be talking pregnancy in schools. Girls giving freedom is a question that we are asking. Given that the Minister of uh, Secondary Education, Nalova, Lunga Pauline Egbe actually came out with a decision saying that uh, girls will no longer be sent out from school with pregnancy and that uh, they will be given six months and maternity, uh, maternity uh, or maternal leave. or maternity leave uh, for them uh, to actually have time, uh, maybe a year, and they come back to school. Uh, equally, we shall be talking on this issue of uh, teachers' strike is Atanganji against uh, teachers, given that uh, he has written to the 10 regional governors asking them to arrest whosoever will actually uh, organize protest march against uh, or under the banner of uh, OTS as a college. So as I said earlier, we are talking pregnancy in schools. Girls are given freedom according to Pauline uh, Nalova Lyonga. A pregnant girl should go to school. She is talking of gender equality. Let's have this report of uh, Geraldine Nasser before we come back. The report. In a bid to curb the high rate of school dropout among young girls due to pregnancies in the school milieu, the Minister of Secondary Education, Professor Pauline Nalova Leonga, through a press release, has ordered school authorities, both in the private and public sector, to handle cases of early pregnancy in schools. This is due to the fact that students are usually dismissed from school immediately they are discovered pregnant. According to the minister, the practice of dismissing pregnant students from school is against the government policy of keeping all students in school without discrimination. She added that it is equally contrary to the government's policy of promoting gender equality and preventing the dismissal of vulnerable children. In this light, some measures have been taken to make sure these students continue with their school activities despite being pregnant, such as staying in school until 26th week of pregnancy, which is six months and a half, after which they may request to be placed on maternity leave. After giving birth, the student might return to school provided that the health, age and disciplinary requirements are met. 
Nonetheless, these same measures will be implemented on the author of the pregnancy if he is a student. Appropriate measures will equally be taken if the author of the pregnancy is a teacher or a staff. The Minister of Secondary Education has therefore urged school authorities to fully implement these newly provided guidelines that will help limit school dropout among young girls. <laughs> Well, they used to say that school is a good thing and uh, learning is a good thing. And with us, we have a teacher here. With us, they call him Prince Apia AJ. He is a teacher, he is a principal. How do you look at this, uh, the decision of uh, the minister, the minister of uh, secondary education, Pauline Nalova Lunga? Mr. Tabi Clarkson, uh, without mincing words, the decision of the minister of uh, secondary education is a very wrong decision. Um, why do I say this? You know, people just sit maybe in their offices today um, because maybe um, they are benefiting from a signature from uh, the head of state and then taking decisions to affect the society and Cameroonians. I don't see how um, somebody will sit uh, of which that person herself when she was in school at the time that she was in school, there was morale in school. And then she's coming today to, to, to eradicate that morale in schools. How can we, let the minister tell us, accept that other students will be in school to harbor another student who is pregnant? What image? Does that pass in the school milieu? Mm. How can the minister explain that a pregnant girl in school will communicate with the other students while pregnant in school? Let the minister tell. Let the minister tell us. We are saying that that decision is a gross violation with the with the with the with the, with the morals that school itself has been building. I want to say that education is all about morality. We cannot be in the school milieu to harbor delinquents. We cannot be in the school milieu to harbor prostitutes. I want to say that this decision of the minister is to legalize sex and promiscuity in schools. Yes, that is what, that is what it's, it, it's all about. It's to legalize sex and promiscuity in schools. The laws of the land are very clear. Any student who is pregnant or impregnates another student, they are immediately dismissed from school. It is very clear. When a teacher tries it, even a rumor, for example, as, as you present as a school principal, when I just get a rumor that a teacher just had sex with a student, you are a prisoner from that moment. Mm. You are a prisoner from that moment. So the minister cannot come now and tell us that the decision that is taken is because in the in the in the decision that she took that she signed, she she she, she says it clearly there that she has that is that decision supersedes and cancels all other decisions that were being taken in that vein in that same vein as concerns pregnancy in schools. So, we are saying that it's a very wrong decision and um, um, as a politician that I, uh, that I also have, it's, 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 it's a pure wrong political move. And that's why we are always saying that these people don't have anything to offer to Cameroonians again. They cannot think. And that's why we are telling them to relinquish power for a third republic, Mr. Tabi Clarkson. Well, uh, Ernest Akufo, what is your take on uh, that? Pregnancy in schools? A girl of 13, from 2, from 3, 13, 14 years, she is uh, pregnant. A good decision on the part of Pauline Nalova Lunga? Uh, Tabi Clarkson, I want to say, uh, when you ask whether it's a good decision, I begin to doubt. Uh, because I know the school environment is for learning, right? Uh, and not for extracurricular activities. I want to say uh, promiscuity or sex is extracurricular because it is not included in the school curriculum, okay?
So when when I read that uh, note, that secular, um, I, f I was taken a little aback mm. because uh, I think if there is uh, one person who knows about the school system in this nation, it should be Professor Nalova Nyonga. So I felt flabbergasted by such a decision, an unpopular decision. I should I should not call it a decision unpopular. I want to say it because um, I schooled in the it, 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 back in the village mm. in the early 60s, 70s. When a girl was flying her red flag, I hope you understand. Yes. She most of them stayed out of school for those days. Those few days she was flying her red flag simply because she respected herself and she feel that she felt that if she came there and uh, accidentally something happened it will downgrade her okay but today you give them the license to be studying and carrying babies and do you know some of these children she's talking about are babies giving birth to babies yeah, because uh, because if you are thirteen years old and you uh, give birth to yeah, it, 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 when, when a child at thirteen gives birth, you know how strenuous it is for her to go through that process. So I want to say um, it's an unpopular decision. Um, well, haphazardly taken. But given that she is a lady and a mother, um, yeah, given that she's a lady, I, I I think she ought to have understood that um, it shouldn't have come from her yes um but she's talking of gender equality uh gender equality what, what, what do you mean by gender equality wait, wait, wait. we are looking to have uh, uh, what, 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 what do you mean by gender equality uh, i think if we want to talk about gender equality well the women went to beijing in 1995 and came back this about 30 35 years after um what, what has changed they are still f struggling for equality right so I don't think uh, uh, Professor Nalova Nyonga Egbe by signing that wants to bring the women to equal status with the men. It doesn't make sense because um, that will tantamount to rendering the school milieu promiscuous. Yes, you know already we parents we already fighting that because uh with the advent of information the new information and communication technology uh, our children are exposed we are we are fighting already yet she comes in now to tell to give the, the, the girl child the license the, mm. the leeway mm. oh why are you afraid okay if that guy happens to touch your breast and uh, tells you this is this giving because even if you get pregnant you get given pregnant. because you remain in school they will give you a, a maternity leave you go and you come back i want to ask the minister professor <laughs> uh we pay dearly for the school field of children when she get uh, when she's pregnant and you say as you're given the license who will pay for the fee as you said she may come back <laughs> after uh, she she puts to the bed delivery, the delivery fee or? Who, uh, uh, the, the delivery <laughs> fee who is going to take charge of all of those things mm. um i want to equally ask uh, professor nalova there is that stigma because uh, you know once students uh, discover some abnormality in one of their colleagues uh, she's isolated i hope you understand prof who bears that stigma it, it, it traumatizes that girl whereas if that accident let's consider it it were an accident because uh, some of them when they go out playing their lovey lovey they don't know that that's what will happen but when the, it does happen i think the, the best place is for the home to mold her to bring her moral up because when she keeps coming the other children or students they make a mockery of her so uh, uh, did you take take into consideration all of that i mean you see it's it's so disheartening that uh, we're talking about this uh, when, when we talk of sex education that is not the meaning of sex education i have a, a a teacher here of civic education i think that is inclusive in all of their program but if you begin to talk about uh, uh, gender balance or gender equality i don't see what you're talking about um furthermore uh, i want to say uh these are things which were unheard of in those days. 
Yes. But times the, have changed. Uh, uh, times have, have changed. Yes, I know societies mm. evolve, mm. and we must move along with the times. But it doesn't suffice to give a license that uh, girls feel free you carry a pregnancy. Okay. Before we take uh, Jocelyn uh, Ernest Akufo. Uh, um, you wanted to react about gender yes. equality? Yes, I, um, just to say that, Mr. Tabby Clarkson, um, I happen to be the head of uh, uh, an NGO uh, which is being dubbed FITEXMA, that is Association for Enforcing Quality Education and uh, Fight Against Social Ills in the School Milieu. And I also um, double also as the, 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 the National Secretary for Communication in CASPAR, that is. Cameroon Anglo-Saxon School Principals Association. Um, why am I saying this? I'm saying this because my choice of, uh, of, 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 of being on this platform is that I'm talking on the, as the, the voice of what many of what the school milieu, especially the private sector, are thinking about this decision. Yeah, what are you thinking about? We are saying that mm. it is a gross violation, a gross violation of the morals in our society. How can you say, uh, talk about gender equality in pregnancy? What is gender equality in pregnancy? Because her argument is based on gender, which is a farce. When a student gets another student pregnant, all of them are immediately dismissed. There is no case. And where is a teacher? No, when you are talking of teachers, I say a teacher... Because most often we see teachers doing that. Eh? A teacher who does that immediately, you are a prisoner. You are a prisoner. That one is there is there is no way you are a prisoner. A teacher who does it, so the minister cannot come today to legalize sex in schools, to legalize sex in schools. Such decisions, Mr. Tabby Clarkson. A school is a citadel of uh, learning. A yeah? school is a place where we build morality for those that need to come to evolve the society. You see, the minister, Naloba Lyonga, is reputed for wrong decisions. <laughs> no, it is the truth, Mr. Tabi Clarkson. It's reputed for wrong decisions. This, when she was, the, uh, when she was the, the, the vice chancellor of the University of Boya, is this this same Nalonga? Uh, is it Nalonga or uh, Nalova? Nalova, Nalova. No, Mr. Tabi Clarkson, all of them are... Uh, I hope you're uh, angry. Anyway. No, I'm very, very angry. Okay, I'm Nalova. Very, very angry. Yeah, because Nalova. In this country, merit is for I have seen that uh, those that they give some position in this country, merit is for those who. What did she do when she was vice, vice uh, would, rector? The anglophone crisis escalated because of because of the minister of secondary because of the present minister of secondary education. Now look at Leonga. The this, students were being made raped in Boya. What did she do? But she had to. She sent police and gendarme to go and beat students. That's what escalated the anglophone crisis. Today she comes, and after she had sent the military to rape students, telling us that we need to, uh, they, they need to legalize sex in school. We are saying that this country is not for, for some particular clique of people, for them to think that they can just sit in their houses, in their comfort zones that president, uh, their president there has given them, and I then know, to I take... I had 6.6 .6 billion, uh, I had something like that. Mr. Tabby Clarkson. I, I, I needed to come to that. What we thought the minister would have been doing now is for her to give us accountability on how she managed the 6.6 .6 billion that was being signed by the presidency of this republic during the coronavirus to <laughs> distribute to private school teachers. I'm talking as a school principal. Right up to date, I've not received a dime. Maybe it's not. No, no, Mr. Tabi Clarkson, wait, wait. Uh, Tabby, 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 Tabby. This money was given at the, this money was given at the point when the corona when the coronavirus was was was, 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 was over. Mr. Mr. Tabi Clarkson, why are we fooling in this country? Corona, Tabi, 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 I think I think you, you, before you get yeah, to before, yeah, 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 I, I want to add that um, uh, education stakeholders in this nation um, uh, they are faltering faltering in the sense that you see um when when, when uh, between 2019 and now where they thought that corona the coronavirus was um, too rampant and all the like they, they took a wrong decision when they brought the school system to two shift yes because um till date I, i'm still waiting to have statistics as per how many students or pupils actually died from coronavirus 
because people just haphazardly take decisions which they don't know uh the impact of those decisions and we're suffering them today so the night shift is a shift of uh, the uh, shift the, 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 you see uh, the, the the two shift system of education that was uh, hurriedly imposed on the education system is it, not good it, it had repercussions on the primary because uh, there are some primary pupils of 2020 uh, 20 who never finished Please, let's come back to our topic yeah, 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 it's part of it yeah. you cannot dissociate that Tabby. Yes. you yeah. cannot dissociate uh, and uh, 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 when you came again to uh, Afcon 2019 when they had to implement that uh, it, it, schools should stop at midday to, for, go, for, to, to go and support the Lions. What is the rapprochement between football and education? Let's come back. Because, Let's come because back. the president said school for, for pupils, scholars, scholars yeah. pupils, mm. and uh, football for footballers. footballers. But uh, this we, time around, they forgot. But we needed to support our Lions, given that it was almost 50 years when last we organized at AFCON. Yeah, it, was, it, was, um, it was normal for us to support the Lions. What, what, what are the fallbacks? Well, I wouldn't ask that, that question. Okay, uh, uh, tell us, we are talking pregnancy in schools. What is your take on that, Jisley? Mr. Tabi, I'll say that that's the very wrong decision. Speaking as an African woman, whom we know that in our African culture, a woman is somebody who is made to understand that you keep yourself to when you get married. But you're telling a child at 16, a child at 14, that if you go to school, you get pregnant, you'll be left in school. Sincerely, it's not supposed to be heard of. I will call it, we will term it a taboo. It is not supposed to be heard of. It's like an abomination to the African society. It's like a disgrace to the womanhood, an African woman. And painful of it all, the minister who has taken that decision is a woman, a mother at that. I don't want to imagine her if she sits in her office and her daughter of 14 years comes to tell her, Mommy, I'm pregnant. How is she going to react to that situation? What, what is she telling mothers at home to sit and expect? That I get up as a mother, I send my child to school, and in the middle of the term, the child comes to tell me that mom, I'm pregnant. It's not supposed to happen. What we, and we, what they say, school is very expensive. You send a child to a private school where you pay hundreds of thousands, and you tell the child that if you go to school, you get pregnant, you will leave, go home, and stay. Now the double cost, the double cost goes back to the parents. The parent has to probably take care of that pregnancy, the parent has to take care of repaying that school fees because it's the, the, no school will refund the money. He has really the academic year is passed and it's passed. And so it's when gone. a boy student impregnates a girl student, well, you are dismissed. It's, it, it's normal, eh? If nothing is normal about pregnancy in school, it's not supposed to happen. Mm. Nothing is normal about being pregnant in school. As a student, you are sent to school to go and learn. Mm. When your parents are sending to school, is that go and learn and become better than your parents, even better than your teachers. Go and learn to make a difference tomorrow, not to go there and become pregnant. So yesterday, it was better than today, the schools of yesterday? So much better. Me when I was in the secondary school, it, so you even assume that a girl is pregnant is a taboo. Then most of all your friends assume that maybe you're having an affair with a boy. Everyone starts having a second eye, they have a second way at which they look at you. You have a certain stigma amongst your classmates. Then you're telling a child of 13 years, 14 years to go to school when she's pregnant. We know the sh we know our, I don't the want to put it I don't want to put it as stress because mm. it's a gift that God has given a woman. But we know the difficulties and the, it's not easy bearing a pregnancy. And we know the, the pains the women go through who are older enough and they can handle that. But you said a child of 13 years, 16 years to go and be pregnant. She can even take care of herself. Now she has to take care of another person. And with the complications that come with early delivery, I don't know where we are I don't know where we are heading. Please. Mm. Because where we are now, the society is becoming something else. With the drama and everything we have in school, we are not only dealt with the violence in schools, now we are dealing with pregnancy. At the end, why, why do we even have the schools? Because it seems like they should just shut them down and everybody should do what he or she feels like doing. And we continue. Because that's what our minister is trying to tell us now. Normally, school is a place uh, to learn. But uh, today we have the impression that uh, school has become a place of violence, a place of uh, prostitution as a... Uh, the PAP man is putting it. Yes, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Tabby Clarkson. There are, let, let me tell you, there are some decisions that people just take because, um, as I rightly said, um, because they sit in their comfort zones and then they just think that they can just affect the society anyhow. You know that the king was eradicated in school by these same people taking these decisions. But do you know the repercussions today? We are look at the society, what is happening today in schools. Students stabbing their teachers.
students stabbing students. They, this week it's how we have how, how many cases do we have? Those are the repercussions, the such decisions of which what we are saying is that the last educational reform in this country is dated from the early 90s. We need an, a new, uh, we need another educational reform to debate on such issues before we take a decision. Because when we talk about educational reform, we shall bring all the stakeholders in the school milieu for them to come up with resolutions that will help impact our society. This decision needed to pass to such, such reforms. That is what the minister could be thinking now, calling the, those in the, in, 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 in the school milieu. That's what we are saying. Now, they want to copy always from the West. Go to a country like France, America. Go and see if a girl of 70 years is, has an, an unwanted pregnancy. It, for, for them, for, you do it, there is, it, it, the laws of the land are there. But in Cameroon, is the reverse. No, the laws of the land are respected then, then, now, equally. What we are trying to say is that we for need... For example, the Reverend Father and Betwa, the laws that is, that is are clear. We yes, need, now we need mm. a lot of sensitization. Mm. We need a lot of communication. The girl child should be educated. We need programs. In, we, now, we are in Camdis television. How many programs has the Minister of Secondary Education sponsored in Camdis to educate the girl child? That's what we are saying. How many programs? But they allow these children to only go on social media, of which maybe they would have made platforms where TV stations, radio stations are on such, have such topical issues for them to educate the girl child. Okay, let's take the case of uh, uh, what happened in Betwa this week, mm. where a reverend father has been practicing pedophilia. That is sexy young students the recent one is the the, the, the young yeah, uh, the, 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 the young, young girl, girl of the, 17 years she was 14 eh? she was 14 at the time that uh, the, 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 the reverend father was was was, uh, was doing that uh, 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 and in that dossier you realize that there are many today who are already grown even working already in the active life who have also who also came to also give complaints accusing the reverend accusing father, the, 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 the reverend, the, the reverend father. So when the, when, when the minister takes us a decision to legalize, <laughs> no, uh, Mr. Tabikas, it's what is to, happening. To give the license as a... <laughs> it is to legalize sex in school and promote promiscuity. Mm. And let me tell you, Mr. Tabikas, in that most of these children that are delinquents, I'm, I'm a teacher, I teach here in Yaoundé, we know that are delinquents are some of these students from these big weeks. That they get unwanted pregnancies, they are wanting for a way to protect them because they are always being dismissed. Yes, a while ago, listen, Mr. Tabikasi, we cannot protect <laughs> delinquents that will come and affect this country. We have been seeing decisions today, Mr. Tabikasi. Let me tell you something. It's very important. Land, land, yeah, land. We are I know, seeing I know decisions today, yeah. like if you look at the Anglophone crisis that has escalated, is because some people are sitting somewhere taking decisions of which they cannot think. They are empty heads. Okay, we are coming to that. Yes, uh, you wanted to react a while ago. Yes, um, I, I just wanted to queue up from where my brother has, uh, ended to say that. Um, you see, uh, taking such decisions by uh, Minister Lo Nalova, Professor Nalova, uh, is tantamount to uh, rendering the school milieu um, promiscuous. But she is described as an iron lady. Uh, um, iron, Nalova. Lady, iron lady. Well, uh, how. how <laughs> Do you mean uh, the iron or the pressing iron? <laughs> yeah, we must distinguish between the two. So I, I, I want to say that um, it's not a pity uh, that we're talking about these things here because uh, we're talking as if they were normal things to be spoken of, whereas they, they aren't. They aren't because um, already we are fighting, we the parents, we're we having it difficult managing our children because of uh, information communication technologies they watch pornography and you know what has been happening of recent in some schools with uh, the, the, the pornographic uh, things the, the, the children are doing there now this is giving them a license to tell them that oh you can go ahead you can do, proceed do, do, do you have a gay child 
I have girl children, mm. and uh, I, I find it very difficult. Big girls already, yeah? Big, big girls, because big. when a girl is already in from one from two, mm. uh, with the uh, rate uh, or, or, or the, the, the development rate of children, mm. you see, when, when, when they, 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 at, especially at this age of puberty, yeah, you see, between 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So you are scared it, it, with the decision it, 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 is that, is that, is that so of... So you are scared with the decision I of Nanova? I am Nanova. scared. Because, because, because <laughs> it, it will demand that I, I... We parents, we double our efforts at looking after our children. Because which is normal, which is normal. Uh, it's normal. Well, I want to say uh, this palaver is coming now. As she's saying it, um, some irresponsible parents are finished yes because if some girls some girl children or pupils or students get this into their ears they'll say ah so i were afraid thinking that uh, they'll send me away from school but now it's proven that i can have it stay in school go go give birth, birth to my child then come back to school uh i'll keep asking the rhetorical questions to uh professor Nalova. Yeah. um who foots the bills for the pregnancy <laughs> because already we are barely struggling to have a square meal now you have given a boulevard that the girl child can go get her pregnancy bring it okay after footing the bill when she gets back to school if i had paid 500 600 thousand francs who foots that other bill for her to continue her education not only that um she gets frustrated after she has put to bed because when she gets back to school well she may not meet the same classmates right oh. yeah <laughs> she, yeah she, she, she <laughs> doesn't meet them because but others have gone yeah, they, they've gone ahead yes, of course, they have gone. so it retards do you take into consideration the fact that the child's education will be retarded when you okay she's like where, 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 where you came here you were you were, you were singing a song <laughs> That's cool. It's a good thing. Learning is a, a good, good thing. thing. I, I come to school to learn. I, I come to school to learn how to learn ABC. I shall, shall learn one, everything. two, three. Thank, Thank you, Mama. You, Mama. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> that was because you were joyous to go to school. Yes. And our parents. By, uh, by then, school was school. That it's is, not what we have our to Our parents do. told us that we are going to school. If my if my father hears that you have done something wrong in school, my father first of all has to look for a kid and beat you first. My father a is a nice whip. My father is a teacher. Prof looks for a cane first and then has to touch you well before asking you that, what did you do? Because he is not going there to counteract his colleagues because he knows that they are there to instill knowledge into you as a student. So when they are telling the children now that go to school, do as you like, that's what they're indirectly telling them. Go to school, do as you like, feel free. Anyway, the minister has said, I'm very sorry, but this is something that we are, it's supposed to be unheard of. Mm. what morals are we showing the younger ones if it okay take for somebody who is 14 years she has a younger sister who is still about eight at 14 you get pregnant the one who is at eight will definitely get pregnant when she's 14 yeah i bet you yeah i have students and i know what it means as a girl your youngest wants to tell you and tell her that you got pregnant when you were 14. Mm -hmm. So, me, if I get pregnant when I'm 14, it's no not problem. a problem. Educating the gay child is very, uh, it's not easy. It's something which is very technical and it's something mm -hmm. which parents take, put a lot of energy and stress. I know the stress parents go that, because I see the efforts our parents put in us and they tell you that do this, do this, don't do this, don't do that. And that's because they know best for you. They have your future, they tell you better, they are there to guide you. But when the minister head of the, somebody who is a responsible, someone who She's been looked up to by the younger generation. She comes today and tells us that if you are pregnant in school, you stay to six months of pregnancy. Seriously, is this hurt me? Yes. Uh, can she, what the, the advisor you are giving to Nalova is for her to revise the decision? The, 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 the problem of this country as a militant of the Third Republic is for these people to relinquish power. There is no way, Mr. Tabi Claxton. They cannot think again. What advice can you give to people that cannot, that, can, that, 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 don't, that don't have nothing to offer to Cameroonians? He's a professor. We are talking. No, about. listen. No, 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 it's not a matter of being a professor. professor yeah. She would have. Yeah, she would have. She would have gone. She would have taken such a decision. Mr. Tabi Claxton. We are talking about a professor. A professor doesn't mean she knows everything. A professor doesn't mean she's right. Mr. Tabi Claxton. Yes, being a professor doesn't mean you are right, and being a professor doesn't mean you need to be there. And you know everything she's a mother she's, she's a mother and she's making a grave mistake as a mother that is where it is more painful 
Mm. Because she is a mother and she's a woman and she knows what it means. She knows what pregnancy is all about and she's telling a child at 14 to go and get pregnant. Are you, are you in school. The, are you of the PAP party equally? <laughs> no. Uh, 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 it's uh, not a matter uh, of being uh, of the uh, PAP uh, party. Uh, we are being realistic uh, here. Uh, 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 it's not a matter <laughs> of being. <laughs> It's not a matter of being of a, of a political party. You see, um, I can say we are, we, are, we, are, we are defenders of the girl child. Mm. We are defenders of parents. Because I, I talk here, maybe in the, the, the parents state, too, they have their own responsibility. Yes, too, yes. Huh? Parents. When, uh, a girl, when a girl gets pregnant at 13 in this, school, it's not this, normal. This palava is mm. a three way traffic, Tabby mm. Clarkson. You have uh the irresponsible parents yes you must put it that way not pay all parents are irresponsible you have the irresponsible parents you have the irresponsible children then you have the school administration yeah uh, irresponsible parents there are some parents they know they've paid their fee they've managed to have some textbooks whether you go or you don't go they want the results at the end whether it's positive or negative because it will be negative when you bring the protruding stomach right that, that they care about it they say okay since you needed to 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 have the pregnancy take the pregnancy and that uh, forget forget about the school because when when the minister was talking uh the, has she made the uh, research to know how the parents will welcome such a decision yeah, because you must know the pros and cons. You don't just say, okay, the children will get pregnant. After six months, they go back. They'll go back to which home? <laughs> Professor. The they'll go back to which home? As a minister. So, I, 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 I want to say, uh, that's the responsibility of the parents already. The, the, the school administration. You see, some of them, uh, they allow it happen. They see it happen. They allow it happen. Uh, we are not saying in school uh, girls should be separated from boys no they should be together but uh like camaraderie at the surface level but not at the deeper level because when it gets deeper that's where they extrapolate and they do the things they are doing mm. and then uh you have the students yes um many of them who come from richard homes permit me use that um they, they easily fall prey Yes, they fall prey to the small boys who say, okay, every day maybe the guy is giving him 200, 300, 500 francs. She doesn't know that he is destroying him. Because uh, a few minutes ago, you were asking my brother whether uh, what's the responsibility for teachers. I want to say any teacher who goes out with a student is an abomination. Yes, a teacher who goes out with a student, it means you are unteaching the child. Because when they say you teach, it means you have the obligation to impact knowledge on that child on all levels. Anyway, not sex Social, knowledge. Not, not, not sense. Not, not sex knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes uh, Mr. Uh, Tabi yes, uh, what, uh, what uh, uh, Mr. Akufo is saying is very important. Um, that is why at times i usually take we usually of we of the popular action party though i am talking here as, as, as a teacher but it's always good to also relate because it's good to copy good examples justice Ayah paul abina in 2011 when he was going in for the presidential elections he challenged cameroonians that if there is anybody that he took one fact to deliver a court judgment the person should start to should own up no I use this opportunity to say in my, in, in my career as a teacher that I am, I'm still young. I have never gone down to a student. And God be my helper, I don't think it shall ever happen. It's a taboo. I usually even tell my, 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 my subordinates, my colleagues, that is a taboo. But we have had cases where teachers have gotten married to students. You can see maybe a, 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 a girl from uh, who is like, already developed we have uh, students of 19 20 years maybe already 18 even uh, maybe in lower upper seats but is that normal? you can it is normal that one is normal you they, they, it is, we are not talking of sex here no. we are talking of the right, the right way you meet the, the parent yeah you meet the parents you say maybe i have an interest to marry a daughter that one is and that you one. marry her, marry her. Not like, in class she's come to stay stomach wrong one exactly. and you're the child, you stand in front there that one the others whom you are the one responsible for that pregnancy i'm sorry if you're a child and you're doing that you know you have nowhere around the school milieu 
You ought to just Exa decline exactly. as a teacher. Don't if they ask you someone and you say your profession is a teacher, I'm sorry, you're not even supposed to do it. That one is a disgrace in the profession. That one is a tabi Clarkson. If you if you even if the teacher even passes, good teachers even passes through the school administration to make that to materialize. We are saying that the decision the minister took, having known her repeated for taking such decisions to affect Cameroonians, we are saying that this one is the worst. <laughs> no, Mr. Tabika, this one is the worst. It's the worst decision. Okay, can we have uh, this uh, report on uh, uh, this report on the case of uh, Bafusam? There was one student who was tapped to death. Can we have the report of uh, Christelle for the report of Christelle? A scene of chaos and total disbelief at the premises of the King Place Health Center in Bamezin West Region following the death of an 18-year-old student, François Xavier Goda. He was a student in Lower Seath of Government Bilingual High School Bafusam and was attacked on his way home around 9.30 a.m. after writing his examination paper for the day. He was attacked on the pathway around the palace by some boys who do drugs. It's more like they asked for his phone, but he refused. When he tried to run, he got stabbed on the back. Although he was bleeding, we ran to the main road and the mechanics at the junction took him to the hospital. <laughs> According to the personnel of the health structure, he was rushed into the establishment when he had lost so much blood. When the mechanics brought him to our health center, he was bleeding profusely through his thorax and we discovered that his wound was very deep. We tried everything we could, but he died. François Xavier Goda's demise has left the inhabitants of Bamenzin, the students and teachers of GBHS Bafusam in shock and anger given that he was an exemplary student. He was a very hard-working student that obeyed instructions without complaint. He was always punctual in school and took his class work seriously. We have lost an exemplary student today and it's really painful. The inhabitants of this locality hope that the perpetrators of the act be tracked down and brought to justice. Line also Toko is just joining us. He is coming and uh, we say thank you for coming despite all the odds. He is here this evening to actually debate on these uh, important uh, topics that we are talking on education the girl child giving the green light or the license as uh, <laughs> as uh, chief for puts it yeah, or again a taboo or again a taboo as Gislaine puts it and uh, the worst decision that uh, <laughs> nalova has ever taken according to uh, prince apm aj there well, uh, we shall be concluding on this uh, first topic, but before we conclude, I will give the opportunity to each uh, speaker, each uh, panelist, to uh, a minute for him or her to conclude. I will begin with you, uh, Chief NS Aku, for your last word on this. What are you saying? Um, my last word, uh, Gladstone, is that um, these wrong decisions taken by... Uh, uh, our uh, state officials uh, have a lot of repercussion uh, than having positive effects because uh, we've always wanted to see things being done in the right way. But when a minister uh, in charge of uh, second education comes out with such a decision, I want to say it's unheard of. Um, we're already fighting against uh, promiscuity, uh, 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 um, and and all the deviances in our school milieu and in our society, mm. but if she comes up to uh, validate and green, gives the green light to uh, the girl child that she could be carry her Tommy while studying, I want to say the school milieu par excellence is a milieu where we go to acquire knowledge. 
Yes, in, not, in, in the process of not, knowledge. Not, not sex knowledge. Not sex knowledge. Yeah, yeah uh, well, there the, the can be sex education in school, <laughs> but not going the practical way. <laughs> and, and, and you know, uh, all of these practical ways which lead to these uh, unwanted pregnancies are an, or, or unorthodox, right? Oh. Yes, because they come before even at times the parents discover um, the, the, the girl child and the person who impregnated her, maybe they've tried at all costs to do away with the pregnancy. So I, I don't know whether the minister measures all of the intricacies and the consequences therein. So uh, I wish uh, these decisions uh, were redressed because uh, it's always necessary to seek redress when a decision is fake. I had earlier said the decision to stop school during AFCON was fake. It was the right one, and uh, they keep taking wrong decisions, wrong decisions. Uh, my, my brother did say, uh, well, it's a failed government. I, I wouldn't hesitate to, to maybe queue up with him, because if you see people keep taking wrong decisions, wrong decisions, it means there is something wrong along the line. Okay. Yeah, your last word uh, on this uh, issue, uh, Prince APA Yes, Mr. Tabi Clarkson, there is something that um, passed that I also wanted, I wanted to say that... Uh, um, being a professor doesn't give you a monopoly of knowledge. <laughs> I want to say that it's very clear. It doesn't make you to be super. When you follow the when you follow learning itself, you realize that those that edu that that educated mankind were not professors by excellence. We can start quoting people like Albert Einstein. Have you read about Socrates? Have you read about Aristotle? And many others that educate. If you even look at even in our contemporary Mr. Mr. Tabby Clarkson, we defend we defend a particular we defend a particular sub idea in a PhD thesis. I'm not undermining a PhD thesis. Yes. So that's why I'm saying that everybody has his fear to evolve. Mm. And having known the minister as being repeated by excellence of taking wrong decisions, we are saying this one too is the worst. Mm. So we are saying that for these such decisions to be taken, of which it concerns especially the educational milieu, we need to pass it through an educational forum where we shall have a debate with all the school stakeholders, the education stakeholders, for them to come up with a concretized decision mm. on such cases. Mm. So in a nutshell, uh, Mr. Tabby Clarkson, we are saying that it is high time that the powers that be, that uh, 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 the powers that be in our republic should know that they are managing bet Cameroonians. They don't have the monopoly of parole. They don't have the monopoly of taking decisions. They need to do consultations. They need to be consultative in taking especially decisions that affect the national, the national integrity of Cameroonians. Mm. It's so that uh, equally, Gislaine, uh, 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 if you were ask this question, the advice to give to Nalova, what will you say? The truth is, as a mother and as a woman, she was not supposed to take such a decision in the first place. Mm. She was not supposed to because I don't think she would be comfortable as a mother to sit and watch her 14-year-old be pregnant mm. and maybe impregnated by a student or a teacher. Mm. I don't think as a mother, she can take that. So that decision, she was not supposed to take it in the first place. Mm. I don't know, maybe she needs to sit down and have a personal reflection with herself. Mm. That's, she puts a mirror in front of her and looks at herself and asks herself that question that what I took as a decision, am I really correct about it? Mm. Am I really sure what I took as a decision is what is right for us, for the people who are calling leaders of tomorrow? Mm. So she needs to ask herself that question. And when she has a response to that, then we'll take off from there. Mm. Mr. Tan, I just wanted to say that in the Czech Republic, we shall cancel that decision <laughs> when we shall take power. We are not yet yeah, there. I want to assure Cameroonians that when the Popular Action Party shall take power, we shall cancel that decision because we, it's, a, we, it's a wrong decision. We, we, we are not yet there. It's true that uh, Linus Otoko Trezor has just uh, joined us with uh, the collaboration 
of our technical team, that is uh, Serge Mbida and, of course, uh, Rodrigue. Can we have, of course, uh, uh, we, uh, can we have Otoko? Otoko, Linus. Yes, Otoko, we say good evening and welcome. Good evening against all the odds and welcome to this team. <laughs> thank you all and thank your millions of uh, televiewers and followers online. Mm for this program, the Republican debate. Mm. It, 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 it's so that you are coming when we are concluding already on this issue of pregnancy in schools, but give us your, your opinion. Now, on my opinion, I'll start by uh, greeting all my co-panelists. But I'll come back on the statement of Prince Apier in Jede and tell Prince Apier that Nalova Younger is a doctor. She's not a professor, point of correction. She defended her thesis on English for knowledge. I like can still bring it down. She's not a professor. I'm sorry. No, when I'm talking of a I professor, I'm talking of I'm talking in the in the sense of a if professor, you, a you, teacher. That is that is a prof because you we normally you. call. I'm not talking of the if the educational the educational you. ladder. No, Mister Otoko, I, 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 yeah, I know that you do. So she's not a professor. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, I want to say that. Let's count this, this political <laughs> exaggeration. When somebody is at the first or second class PhD. We carry him to the rank of professor once the presidential decree lands on him. I repeat, she is Dr. Nanova Lyonga. She defended her thesis on English phonology. Go to Boya. I refer you to the University of Boya. Nobody is refuting. Where nobody is refuting. No, Mr. Linus okay. Otoko, nobody is refuting. Now, yes. I can move from there and say when somebody pretends to knock at the door of the post of general of english education he should be the full reflection of the anglo-saxon education whose foundation stone is the bible is it written in her bible i wonder excellent is to say we know to which system she brought about that for my information she has never stood at the doors of the church for a wedding i'm talk I'm, i can go deeper on it we all read about the wife of Bath. Yes. It that is why we have this kind of decision. That is why we have this kind of decisions. I, I'm sorry. I say I'm the classmate of her daughter. I'm not talking of somebody I heard about. No. So I can tell you that this kind of decisions come from the kind of people who do not know the pains that go with matrimony. So what will you expect? Forget about minister. It's just a political post. Who is the person? You are talking about. We don't. We don't no, like the After all, at the end of at the end of the game, we will have bad upon bad upon bad decisions. And I will have children all around. I know. Oh, what what I'm, telling I, I'm telling you, people do not expect the good from the bad. It is standing in front of garbage. The garbage in, and garbage out. Excellent. You cannot so be standing in front of a garbage. That decision is a good one or is a bad one. It is even the worst decision I have ever made. <laughs> It is because a taboo it is telling to humanity. We remember that in all Anglo Saxon education schools, it was remove the bad and teach the children the good. Oh. That is why when a student was pregnant, she was out, out, out of school. Now she's telling us it is even a profession. So she's going to have matrimonial leave. <laughs> oh, yes, it's a profession. So she is telling the girls and the boys and, and, and the teachers who are do the, your thing and the teachers are your thing. Are the teachers who are sexually immoral? Yeah. Do your thing. Feel free to do it or you have got the right. No, it's a general say because there are, are teachers who are also responsible for this pregnancy. Do your thing. Do your thing. She is telling them that look. Go ahead. The school milieu Do is, the, is the experimental ground. <laughs> Do <laughs> <your> thing. <laughs> That's why I still lined up with the newspaper that whose headline was within the week. Nalova Younger gives the green light for pregnancy. She's telling the I say, I said, drive speedless. We are speedless. Tabi, Tabi. I wanted to just put one thing, which is, uh, uh, which is very important. We are talking at a point in time where we have had cases where in some schools we have seen how some admi school administrators special uh, school administrators mm -hmm. like we made mention of Petwa, that they use their authority to make students to be to make to bring students into lesbianism homosexuality subdue, subdue, subdue them yeah. and they were talking and, and, and in that point in time where we are struggling to, you know, to combat you to tell us that we used to have scms 
sexually transmitted yeah. mass. mass. And then it was a At taboo. The time in where... such a way where, where even, even they say why you even do it, you even saying... try to hide it. Then now it is official. You're doing it like you enjoy it. Just to tell you that for your information. If I have an affair with my teacher, I'm past. At the point in time where that we discover a prostitutional reason in the ocean division what of the South region. Right. In schools, schools, and secondary schools. And the comes to tell us that... Go ahead. Go, go ahead and do your thing. Do the SGO... Now, why did you send me away from, 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 from school? And you are right for doing that. That biology which I said, which you in class, practice it. See, this decision is the worst decision that would bring this country down. I'm telling you the truth because parents cannot take it. We are calling on the minister, Mr. Akufa, we're calling on the minister since. We are telling the minister to reverse the decision immediately. Mr. Because ABN. it cannot, no, listen. We are, we are saying down. that all of us, there is no stand down. I have five <laughs> children. I'm a father of five children. And they're against that. Mr. Tabi Classic. And they're against that. <laughs> and they're against that. We cannot function in such a society where that's why I'm saying that, Mr. Tabi Classic, always saying that these people are tired. They should give way for the younger generation to take over this country and for car to carry Cameroonians forward. This decision has shown more that ma uh, 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 the Minister of Secondary Education is, all her decisions is to bring Cameroon down. Because okay. I've not seen a decision, but, Mr. Tell me, we made mention, I want to repeat this one, we made mention of the, we made mention of the 6.6 .6 billion that was being signed by the president of, president of this republic to give to teachers. Mm. Madame during, Nalova Lyonga during the COVID-19 period, COVID period, yeah. uh, period Madame Nalova Lyonga has not told Cameroonians I am we are here with renowned journalists three of you here let you, you post you tell us whether the Nalova Lyonga has made a press conference to tell Cameroonians on how that 6.6 .6 billion was was distributed to no. that to, no, but she the, to, to the teachers. We are still no, waiting. No, no. I'm, not to the host Mr. Otoko, I'm saying that as a school principal, we have not. I'm saying, and I'm saying it as the national, as the national secretary for communication of the Cameroon Anglo Saxon School Principals Association, that we haven't received a dime. But, we haven't received a dime. It's so hard to legalize. Like it's so hard to, 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 to legalize sex in school. It's so hard to legalize sex in school. It's not correct. So we are saying that. We are saying that this decision is the worst decision and it is a farce. It is a farce. She doesn't have a monopoly of knowledge. She doesn't have a monopoly of knowledge. Mm. Look at students that were being raped in Boya in 2016. They, they break the bones of students. They made students because of this same, uh, uh, the, this same woman. Look at people. Two, Mr. Tabi class is hurt. People are dying today in the Northwest and the Southwest. Well, we we have more than... 3,000 dead already because it's of not, such decisions that were being taken by such people. It's not a case against Madame. No, no, no. It can be a court case. No, no, no. It can be. Let me tell you how it can be. It's not a court case. Let me tell you how it can be. No, no, It's cool with you to get Cameroonian. No, no. When a minister takes a decision, we are coming back to you. We can, we can sue her to court if we see that it's not the right decision. We are coming back. The laws of the land permit us to do that. We are coming back. It's good that Cameroonians should know it. We are coming back to you. We are not doing a court case. Kamdis is not doing a court case against her. Uh, the prof is so that uh, Lino says she I'm talking a, based on an ideology. She, she is a doctor, a doctor. and uh, okay. but she is a prof. Prof, given that she is uh, the title uh, given to a doctor, she is a doctor. Okay, knowledge. we are concluding on this 30 seconds now. Each speaker, I begin with you. Uh, well, Tabi, I don't even know what, what, why you want us to conclude uh, because um, it, it seems catastrophic decisions which have been arrived at on popular and you see uh, most of the decisions which uh, some government stakeholders government officials take um, go the all the more to ruin the republic and then not to talk of the ombudsman which is sent to the field to to go intervene and see how they can put things in order you see uh, if, if you take a closer look you see that uh, often uh, government officials who take unorthodox decisions are very much the ones which are closer to power and then the ones who can take decisions which will favor the population are the ones which are put out of power it's rather unfortunate but that's the system what are we going to do but we can't sit looking uh, my brother did talk of a court case it's possible we engage court case because this decision is 
it's the unpopular. worst, the Acc worst according decision. To, according to your words, it's, the, it's unpopular. It's unpopular okay. and worse, the worst decision of Oyoga ever gotten. Okay, thank you. Linus Otoko, we are concluding. Eh? It's because um, of you that we added some few minutes. On my conclusion, <laughs> what I can tell everyone is that point of correction. We cannot take a court case against an administrative decision in a civil court. They should know where to carry their court case. If you don't go to the administrative court to call it off that administrative decision because he took it in the name of administration, then you'll be dancing a rhythm role that is up, down, left, right at the same time. So that is what I can say about it. Now the second issue on this same topic is that I will honestly advise the minister if she's following us to sit and listen to her counselors her advisors because every ministry has at least two te two technical advisors yes. two inspectors apart from the inspector general and she in her ministry has about four inspectors because she has an inspector general in charge of education this is the time she should sit and listen to those people being a minister does not give you the all knowledge there are some decisions that will really be bad. But unfortunately, most of our decisions have been bad. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Gisleen, your last word on this, finally. What I can tell, she's a mother. And she's a woman. Is that let her put a mirror in front of herself and ask herself that question. That if I had a 14-year-old daughter who walks into my office, or who comes back home one day pregnant, how am I going to react? When she has an answer to that, then she will know her parents back at home are going to feel. When she has an answer to that, then she will need to sit back and ask herself if what she took as a decision is what she actually needs to send out there. As a minister, as a woman, what is she telling the children of tomorrow? Mm. When she has an answer to that, they will take it up from there. The teacher and politician, your last word? To who? <laughs> no, wait, ask me no, last word to who? I've already, I've already, have, they should, Madam Nanova Lunga should resign and leave that position because she's not competent. That is all what you want me again to say. Okay. We are now moving on to our second topic. Our second topic is still on education with the teachers who are on strike. And uh, the Minister of Territorial Administration, Paula Tanganji, has come out with a release asking the governors to arrest whosoever will, will go out there to protest under the banner of the OTS, OTR, as what concerns uh, the situation, the conditions of uh, teachers. I will begin with you. Uh, Line also took uh, Trezor. The question is to know if Paul Atanganji is against teachers or not. I will not say Paul Atanganji is against the teachers, but I will say we not teachers. Teachers has an S at the end, please. We not having the clues, the ups and downs that uh, 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 triggered this decision from the Minister of Territorial Administration in Cameroon and the Minister of Interior in other countries cannot judge him for that decision. But from what I will know, what I know is that within the week, there was a first letter the Minister of Territorial Administration produced, which was a warning of some sort of politicizing the movement. And we know, we who are journalists, who actually followed the movement, that there are some political leaders who went behind and even masterminded the movement. That is why today we have two clans of teachers. Even in that OTS, there are two clans. The first line of thought believes that the government has shown proof of honor by accepting some of their grievances and should give government the trust to confirm that is to round it up with all their problems. The second line of thought, the second line of thought believes that like the political masterminders it is an all striker never satisfied at all so we don't know to which extent what motivated the minister to go to that extent because when the ota started the government went down to negotiate with that same minister in their ranks if today he should turn and call administrators to get these guys in jail he knows how far he can go and what is behind mm. Okay, uh, the man of our wing, tell us, uh, what is your take on that? Paul Ataranji will teach us. I want to say, uh, David Clarkson, we, we must be very clear about certain things. Um, 
this government is not ruled by Paula Tanganji. And uh, at times, uh, Minister Paula Tanganji, and at times, like uh, the Minister of Basic Education, he equally takes wrong decisions. Minister of Secondary. Of Secondary, I beg your pardon. He equally takes wrong decisions. The wrong decisions are cruel from the fact that, you see, when you want to rule people with an iron hand, it doesn't work. Um, I don't know why. Those are two other foreign ministers. Excuse me. I don't know why Yaoundé has not learned a lesson from what is happening in the agrophone regions. Yaoundé is still being headstrong. And Yaoundé feels that everything should be par. The barrel of a gun which is too bad. It's regrettable because uh, government officials had opened the leeway for negotiations. But when suddenly, like it did happen in 2016, when suddenly the minister says all OTS should be arrested and OTA be arrested, um, you, see, you see the way the thing is turning. Um, wh why do people, why can people not learn from history that is better to dialogue eh? people dialogue don't is, want to people dialogue don't, is important yes people don't want to learn from history people feel that when you're in position of power you use every means possible to crush as he himself uses the words he has often used those words that they crush in governance you don't use some type of words because when you use them the repercussion will be very too consequential we don't pray for it mm. because we are at the end of the school year certificate examinations are starting on tuesday with the first school and what is common trans examinations mm. so if the minister begins to take that type of a tone and brings it up because uh, they are in position of power and they can do anything at any time they can arrest and torture and maim um, that is not democracy right Yes, but in, in Cameroon we talk about la democracy avancée. I begin to ask myself, what of advanced democracy? So, um, this palaver must be managed. You must call people to table. Tabi class, I want to tell you something. Um, you see what's happening between Ukraine and Russia? It will still end by them sitting down to talk. Then why war, 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 rather than talk, talk, talk? Yes. After World War One, people went to the table and signed and thumbs and. Uh, Tom, are fighting now. Yes. So, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. She said it last time. Tom, are fighting, as she said last time. So I want to say, uh, Mr. Minister, um, were it not better you call these guys to the table and see where the missing link is? It's rather better to discuss than to pick up arms. Okay. And and yeah. Tabby, let me end. Let me let me let me end. Yes. Let me end. It's easy pushing people into the bush than taking them out of the bush. Okay. The example is there. Okay. You're saying it, right? Okay. Because every day, government officials, they keep pleading, drop your arms, leave the bush, and come in. But they when, should drop their arms. It's, it's really tough. Yeah, I, I, am not, I am not saying they shouldn't drop their it, arms. It's too much already. Uh, Tabby, mm. dropping arms, there are preconditions, right? Uh, it's too much already. They should drop their arms. <laughs> uh, 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 Prince API Jede, what is your take on this? Um... In 2016, this minister, you are, the name is there. <laughs> you don't want to call it. Oh, that is the name there. Uh, 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 went on air <laughs> on CRC TV and said that there is no anglophone problem. During the end of year speech of his boss, at that time he was minister delegate at the president, uh, minister delegate at the, uh, at the presidency in charge of special special duties. His, his boss goes on air and contradicts him. Accept that it's an anglophone problem. But do you know what happened? With all what would happened, he was made Minister of Interior. That's why we are saying that there's a problem in this country. We were talking of the Dr. Nalova Long. I want to know if this one also is a doctor. That name also is a doctor. Which name is that? That name, which is that? What are you not called the name? At, I'm seeing the Atanga G against teachers. I want to know the name also is a doctor. Because some people think in this country that they have monopoly of parole. They of, have monopoly of savoir. Of savoir. They take decisions. Please, wait, 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 w
It's my time to speak. Let me go to the end. Let me go to the end. Let me go to the end. Let me go to the end of my logic. Yeah. Let me go to the end of my logic. Please, we don't have much time. We are saying that this best, this minister was promoted and made minister of interior, and we have had only decisions that have been there that decisions works to insult cameroonians look at teachers you are acting if he is against teachers how is he not against teachers he's against teachers who they do they respect teachers no, in this I, 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 no, 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 I will tell you why i'll tell you why i will tell you i'm a, look, i will tell you why i'll tell you why i will tell you that the teachers strike the honor throw support the ots is for teachers money to be paid point that is it if politicians want to recuperate 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 have you paid their money pay their money you will not see politicians there the it, no, let me tell you it is very normal that politicians do re... judge salary has mr been let me let me let me no, like but, which, but, which but, salaries but, 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 which, are you a teacher the, the, we, are no, we are saying that we are saying that have been paid. We, have, we have teachers in the oh, please, please. We, we, have we are saying that, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Otoko. Mm. We are saying they are that they are complaining against av advancements now. We, we are know. saying because that, they wrote it that we, we are saying, yes, Mr. Otoko. I'm telling you that uh, this matter is a progressive matter. It is not all the teachers who have yet received their money. There are some teachers who are not still, we are not still integrated. The main people to understand it will be integrated automatically. I had a case, I have a, I have a, a case which is, is 12 years now. He has not been integrated. 12 years, working on 12 years, not been integrated. What are you talking? Did we you? are saying that, we are saying that they should pay teachers money Does so that politicians should not recuperate. Yes, uh, okay. let me tell you, in Cameroon, yeah. in dust, the communicate the press release of the state minister of public service minister of finance and minister of education when they met the press release the press release the press release they produced does he has the word progressive integration is that what written i said it, yeah. in that committee in that press release let me answer his question yes. in that committee in that press release it has they have put a roadmap where they will pay that money progressively yes, what is the problem the, the, what is the problem now is that can't you, know, wait? you people don't want uh you people which wait 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 on what Did wait on what those that, no, listen what listen Mark, listen you yourself said the first stage and you repeated the word it, progressive well mr Toko, you don't want me to speak if you, you don't want me to speak we are saying that the first stage of that money has not yet reached has not yet reached the, the 2025 the, the, the first test of that money has not first of all reached the 2025 files no, we are talking of progressive payment did we that is what we are asking now <laughs> we are on the third month already we are on the third, third month, month already, already. Yeah. and these people have not received all of these people have not received their money we are so using the, the word all, all. all. we are progressive? using the word progressive that is by rank be, by group. Be, listen be, be, listen to what i'm saying when we say progressively the first shift of that money was that they needed to make sure every teacher from a corner starts receiving his money automatic it was within a period and as of now a bottom that listen, we and listen, as has. of now all of the teachers Okay, Mr. Otoko, I'm talking to the televiewers, not uh, I'm talking to the televiewers. That is why I'm, I'm giving you the chance. I don't Wait, know why please, Mr. Otoko. No, no, is that matter between Otoko? No, 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 no. No, is that matter between Otoko? We are saying that, 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 that what I was trying to say is that everything in this country they want to politicize. The teachers, among the teachers, there are politicians. Among the teachers that are reclaiming their money, there are politicians. Is the truth? And politicians must use such actions for political gains. And we are saying that if the minister thinks that maybe they want to use teachers, teachers are intellectuals, they are playing with secondary school teachers, they are those that coordinate the society. They should pay teachers money. Okay. And stop and stop telling people here that they will arrest we, people. We are you. Arrest. The people that have been uh, listen, we are, we are they arrested people. You cannot talk the whole day. They arrested Justice Aya Paul Abine. We cannot, as the Anglo First Crisis ended. You, can, you cannot talk the whole day. Yes. I want to precise here certain key elements. The first, 
I have not said that the decision Minister Paul Tanganji took was the best. Chief, are we okay with that? That is what you are saying. Uh, that is, no, that is what you are saying, Mr. Toko. That is, it, it, that is uh, what you are saying. That is the best. Can you now listen as an unfold? I when I was talking, you were not listening. Please, 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 no, no, I'm telling you, Mr. Kabi, I'm talking as an unfold. Please. I said the decision Minister Paul Tanganji took was not the best. We are not here supporting the decision. But what I mean is, in his role as one Minister of, of uh, uh, Territorial yeah. Administration, two President of Cameroon Security Council, we don't know what triggered this decision because the information he has at his level, we, we don't, don't have it. it. We don't have it down here. That the teachers want to bring. Here. That the teachers want. What, 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 that's what they say. That they want to bring down Cameroon. Please allow him to talk. No, well, that is what he has said. That the teachers want to bring down. Allow, allow, allow him to pay teachers money. We that is it. not what he has said. Yes. He signed the communique, and even in the communique, there is a loophole. He says there are some pseudo members of the OTS. He didn't say all the members. Now, the question I ask myself, I, the layman who read the communique, are the members of OTS and OTA who were received by Chief Dr. Joseph John Ute, the pseudo members the minister is talking about? Then, if so, why didn't they handcuff them right there in front of the prime minister? question no, those are it, elements those are elements are once, no those are elements that once you know you realize that there is a group of people who are hiding behind this group behind this event it, it is not to true Dr. 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 there is no group which is hiding behind the OTS. okay, okay we are the old movement are, are sending they, 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 they are syndicate it's a syndicate uh, they yeah. are to ask no Mr. Tabi is no 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 it's a syndicate it's not by no 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 it's it's it's, it's gracious. You give me the registration. It's gracious because he has not seen as, as a group as of a people. Sat, in, as, a, as a journalist, that that you see, and the government don't want don't want, don't want even me to, to, to speak on my thirty ten seconds. Yeah, we are saying no, it's not over. <laughs> I'm not spoken. I'm saying that the 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 the, the OTS, Mr. Otoko, is a journalist. The OTS, you are getting what I'm saying. There is no manipulation on the OTS. Teachers are very well educated for them to be manipulated. What the teachers need, the ministers should know what the teachers need is their money. They should be paid their money. That is all. Okay. They are well manipulated. Let me give you the name of one. The CRM met those teachers. You always like to call the CRM. I said the CRM met those teachers. You always like to call the CRM. I can even give you a group of 16 names if you want it. You always like to call the name of the CRM. That is why I'm not the CRM. I'm not of the CRM political party. Minister Atanganji is talking in his position. You always want to call the name of the CRM. Chief of Security Council. And uh -huh. Minister of the Interior. Yeah, he has monopoly. We don't know what the monopoly. We don't know what triggered those. He has the monopoly of Savoir. He has information that the information that he has was that there is no anglophone problem. That is the information that he has. What are you talking, Mr. Tabi Claxton? What are you saying? The information that I have played the game of the house fly. The information that you have for where the each is to stand. Okay. The information that he has is just for him to arrest people and and for them to be sent to prison. For him to to arrest. Alice, a, a politician for them to be said we, we should have gender equality we are talking here. of a we, Mr. Can, we, can we have gender equality here can we allow we are talking, these ladies to talk we, no Mr. Tabi Clark said Mr. Can Mr. Can Mr. We, Mr. Yeah. Otoko has not wanted me to speak <laughs> can we this, have man, this, this name which, this <laughs> name this name which is there is a politician <laughs> Well, this name which is there is a political name. Okay, we are ready. And if all what he's doing is we are very well. We are very political. We are very well. Okay, please. Yeah, let's let's just let please. What is your take on that? We know that every minister before taking a decision has their personal, or put it personal reasons for taking that decision. We know how this issue of the teacher strike came about. We already know the effects it has caused a lot of the students. It has caused a lot on the academic year. At this point in time, sending down a communique where the teacher should be arrested is not the best because if the, ret the retaliation which will come back will cause more effect on the issues, not just the not just the teachers, but also on the students who are preparing for their final year exams. We are at the end of the year. Students are starting their first school leaving. The GC is about to begin. If the teachers have to go back and say they are not going back to the classrooms, what is going to happen? At the end of the year, we will be giving a balance sheet that the school year went well. 
Does the minister have those at, his, at the back of his mind before he's taking that decision? Do we, will we be able to give at the at the end of the year? Said, no, the 2021, 22 academic year went well. Those are questions that we need to ask ourselves who we are putting out certain decisions out there. Because these teachers are for whom I would say they have the nation in their hands. Because the children they are impacting knowledge to are those we expect to be leaders of tomorrow. But if teachers get missing in a particular point of time, then they say the generation is missing something. Our generation is lacking in something. So what the minister should be doing is that, yes, he has information. Yes, he's trying to protect the state. Yes, he's trying to do, to ensure that there is peace, that we know. But, there is a but. And the but is, before taking that decision, if you try to look at the repercussions of that decision, are you sure what you're doing is the best way to go forward? Bring the teachers out to the table and let them talk. Talk to them. If maybe you have information, which is maybe they are, as they say, they are trying to bring down Cameroon. Put them down and try to ask them, what are the reasons for their next action they're about to take? Or what are the reasons or their supposed actions that you think those teachers want to take? Because truly, signing the decisions and putting them out, if they're implemented and those teachers are arrested and they're sent to the prisons, now the school year, there's really a lapse. Mm. So what happens to this school year, academic year? Never talk about saying that it's a good decision anyway. No, we no, did not say it's a good decision. Uh, so he said the decision, he said there is a problem, we are not looking. And, there, no. what, and that's because there's information Mr. the minister has, himself. which we don't have. Oh, no, 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 no. I no. said the decision he took is oh. a it's problematic a, decision. It's a wrong yeah. one. But, but, no, but we don't know the reasons that he took the decision. The decision. No, so no, I'm not talking about the No, Mr. I'm not talking about what you're saying. You cannot say that. The information we have is cannot say that. Not that from you. Me, yes. Is that there is a political group that actually infiltrated the group. And for real, it was done. Now, <laughs> in his communique, I repeat, he's talking of a supposed OTA. What I expected him, what I expected from that minister after his communique, was to follow them right at the Prime Minister's office and hang off them. For us to see. Who he calls the supposed OTA? Or bring it out actually the supposed yes, OTA people. Because taking a general decision that OTA should be arrested. It's so ambiguous that. It's so bleak and it's as if you enter a room and everybody is dressed in black and you say arrest the man in, in black. black. Ooh. No, oh my God. Who? Uh, Mr. Tabi Clarkson. That's a problem. Um, we, we are concluding. Yeah, we are concluding. We have, please, we have three more minutes. We are concluding, and I will begin with uh, NS Akufo. Yes, I think... Uh, NS Akufo, 30, se 30 seconds, yes, please. Yes, without wasting much time. Mm. I, I think we had two very uh, important topics, mm. very sensitive topics. And uh, my conclusive statement will be that uh, government officials should not spend out treating the consequences, but treating the causes. Government officials should not spend time on treating the consequences. Rather, they should spend time treating the causes. Point. <laughs> Very okay. brief. Very brief. Thank you. Yes, Jocelyn, your last word before we, we finally leave. Our minister should go back to the drawing board. They should sit down and have a reflection. Actually, they should speak with their advisors and they should get what they have to say. Mm. Because you're a minister doesn't mean that you know everything. Mm. Because you're a minister doesn't mean that you are all head and you just take it the way it is. Mm. They should sit back, have a rethink of the decisions they are making. Are we taking Cameroon forward or are we taking Cameroon 10 steps backward? That's what they should have in mind. Okay. So our minister should go back and have a rethink and say the decisions they are taking and they are signing is going to take this country to the emergence of 2035 we are looking at. Yeah, we can say all these ministers are anglophones, eh? It's important to note it also. That is where the mm. issue is more painful. Mm. I'll put this painful in quotes. Mm. It is more painful because they ought to know the plight of the people better. But when they stand and take certain decisions, when they stand and take such, they this send such communicates out, we don't know if it's yeah, that, if they are walking. They have lost it from the two regions. That is where, that, we don't know if they are walking. You, you begin, you begin to see that okay, somewhere there is a hidden agenda. Yeah. No, that, that, yes. That is actually now end for me. That is why I was saying that the choice of the anglophones that they used i don't know the criteria that they used only god himself knows that's why we are saying that <laughs> that's why we are saying that this man we are calling his name here which is on the screen i've been calling the name i'll be calling that atanganji <laughs> we are saying that he is a politician a very good one for that matter that is why even mr otoko is 
not is not very clear it's to understand. Consistently inconsistent. It's consistently inconsistent. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> it's consistently inconsistent. It's consistent. Thank you very much. <laughs> power to power. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. What is happening is that there is no problem in Cameroon. <laughs> Cameroon don't have no. There is no body to 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 to, to mastermind any any go, any government to take over power from where from where there is nobody. I'm talking also as a politician. There's nobody. The problem is that they just want to always bring the policy of repression, which is not always the best. We should always learn to come with dialogue. Oh. The teachers just have the one thing, Mr. Tabi Clarkson. Oh, they want their money. Yeah, okay, we have heard you. And they should pay their money. We have heard you. Choko, we are concluding your last word as we go. Words, I will use just uh, one statement that applies to the two ministers. The ministers from the Anglophone regions of Cameroon should learn to trust their collaborators because all these decisions that are cacophonic appear to be taken from their heads. And not from consultations, which is an administrative procedure before a decision is taken. Mm. We say thank you, gentlemen and ladies, for coming. It's on this note that uh, we put an end to this another edition of uh, the Republican debate. Take another appointment, same time next week, on the same uh, channel that is Camdis TV. Till then, we say may God continue to bless, to bless the Republic.